Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Morning Coffee Scriptures. Thanks, everyone, for liking our pictures and videos on our page, Divine Students of Christ, Nation Church. Also, check in with us every morning for our Morning Coffee Scripture that will elevate your spirit for the new day breakfast with Christ. You are also invited on our Tuesday warfare, powerful prayer, preaching, prophetic declaration every Tuesday at 9 a.m. U.S., 2 p.m. Nigeria, 3 p.m. Europe. Listen to Reverend John Wulin Wachuku, the pastor and shepherd leader of Divine Soldiers of Christ on um, every Friday, 1.57 p.m. Nigeria, 8.57 a.m. U.S. and 2.57 p.m. Europe on Cran FM, Worry Data State 89, Nigeria, uh, Worry Data State Nigeria 89.9. We will send out the link a few minutes before the time. Join us every last Friday midnight warfare prayer where your dry bones will rise again. 7 p.m. U.S., 12 midnight Nigeria and 1 a.m. Europe. Join us on Sunday service. Praise the Lord. U.S. 10 a.m. Nigeria 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Europe. And guess what? Everything is online, y'all. Everything about this church, the Adventures of Christ Nation Church, is online. So use on your comfort zone. We bring church to your home. Thank you so very much for your time, and God bless you mightily. Don't forget to share. Okay. And the paragraph I'm using today will be Numbers 24, verse 15 to 19. Verse 15 to 19. The oracle. Oh, then he ordered the um, then he ordered his oracle, the oracle of Balaam, son of Beor, the oracle of one whose eye sees clearly, the oracle of one who hears the words of God, who has knowledge from the Most High, who sees a vision from the Almighty, who falls prostrate and whose eyes are open. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not, not near. A star will come out of Jacob, and so on and so forth. You can finish that. And my topic today will be Balaam's fourth and final oracle. The star out of Jacob is often taught to refer to, to, to coming Messiah, like what I just read there. The meaning is, uh, is coming Messiah. It was pro probably this prophecy that convinced the Magi to travel to Israel to search for baby Jesus. You can check that in Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 through 2. It seems strange that God will use a sorcerer like Balaam to foretell, foretell the coming of the Messiah. But these teachings are but this teaches us uh, that God can use anything or any, anyone to accomplish his plan. Like the Bible says, he will take the foolish things of this world and confirm the world, the, 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 to confirm uh, the, the, the things that he has to do. So the, the real thing in life is that you cannot be able to try your best to walk and say you're going to walk, manipulate God. You cannot manipulate God, y'all. My brothers and my sisters, if you don't have anything to learn out of this, you cannot manipulate God. So why God was using the sorcerer, it's not because of anything, but God chose that, that God can use anything, anything at all. So Balaam foretold the coming of Messiah, but he's teaching us that God can use anything or anyone uh, uh, to accomplish his plan by using a sorcerer. God did not make sorcerer acceptable. You listen to me and listen carefully because that's one thing I love about the word of God. And I repeat myself when it comes to stuff like this. God used a sorcerer. One of you, some of you might ask, but, what, but sorcerer is against the word of God. Why do God, God, God can use anything, anybody, anyone to achieve his goal, to do what he has to do. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that God did not make the sorcerer a sense of no. By using a sorcerer, remember, God did not make a sorcerer acceptable. In fact, the Bible condemned it in several places. Exodus 22, 18, 2, 18, Second Chronicle 33, 6, Revelation 18, 23. 
the Bible condemns Caesarea. So when you see it there, as I'm saying it, the Lord can use anyone. But God is against people that do such. Okay? Uh, rather, God showed his ultimate sovereignty over good and not evil. God shows his ultimate God, ultimate God of being savior, is our savior and the severity over good and evil. So be careful when you do certain things in the world, when the Bible is against it, you are still doing it. When the preachers are preached against it, you are still doing it. Guess what? When your mother and your father have told you not to do it, you are still doing it. My brothers and my sisters, who am I talking to? Things that we got, that we're not supposed to do. Being on drug? Oh yeah, they legalize marijuana. So do you have to smoke it? Yeah, sex is all over. Do you have to have sex when you're not married? Oh yeah, money is all over. Do you have to steal? Oh yeah, the maturity is all over. Do you have to be greed? Do you have to be greed? Do you, oh no, we are sagging up. And do you have to sag up? And you young man or young man I'm talking to? Because you see all these videos, uh, you thinking you're copying from the uh, US, America, even them that sag their point, they don't even sag it in real person. They just do their video and make money. I'm just teaching somebody here. Don't you think that whatever you think America's doing, or they legalize this or legalize that, or because they legalize homosexual, therefore it is right on the presence of God. No, not at all. The Bible said these are against the word of God, and we are the child of God, Reverend Joy, and I will preach it the way it is. I will teach it the way that's why money coffee is a word raw from the Bible, they don't put no salt to it, raw from the word of God, so that they legalize nonsense and homosexualism and, 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 and drugs and everything they are doing, therefore you're going to do it, child of God, you're going to do it, children of God, no, be careful what you do, lesbianism is against the will of God, you're saying you are having sex going around, it's against the word of God, come on, come on, come on, you are going, doing all this for all night and all this, yeah, we are all boys and all everything you are doing prostitution. You instead of keeping your body as the temple of the Lord, you are going against the word of God, my brothers and my sister. Oh, my cool labels, and oh, now that then because you are married and your husband is not acting right or maybe your wife is not oh no 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 everybody's acting right but you just want to go cheat on your on your on your, on your wife or, or cheat on your husband my brothers and my sister i'm talking to you today it is against the bible that i carry it is against the word of god let us come down to a place where we continue to believe the word of god that everything in ten commandments when god said don't do it he means don't do it may god help us to be obedient children because last time I checked the Bible says obedient is better than sacrifice dear Heavenly Father thank you for all my how long suffering moment that I have led me to bow my knees to pray and worship you every day Please, oh God, hear my prayer and listen to my supplications. The words of my mouth in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. God bless you mightily. Have you talked to Jesus today? Have you read your Bible? Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. God loves you more. Mm, my name is Robin Joy Angwoling Wachiku, the pastor and shepherd leader of the Church of Christ, Nation Church, Maryland, USA. I will be with you same time, same station tomorrow. Thank you. I love you. Bye now. I appreciate you watching. Kindly share my videos and remember, we are not just telling stories, but we are changing lives. And when you share my videos, you are helping to change lives too. So kindly start a watch party on Facebook because the support you all show Help to evangelize and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, subscribe and like to the YouTube link above. And follow us on Facebook.com slash Divine Children of Christ, Twitter.com slash Divine underscore SOC, and Instagram.com slash Divine Children of Christ. And check out our website on the link below. Thank you.